family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 17th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. We're going to start out here, St. Lucia, El Salvador, where there was a massive landslide, some footage here, crazy footage. Look at this. Massive sinkhole and landslide, St. Lucia. Wow. Amazing footage and scary stuff. The whole street just disappears. They got some crazy drone footage and photos as well. Look at this. That hole's got to be 200 meters deep. Looks like they may have had some sewer problems. Yeah, they must have got the the drone up there after all was said and done with this sinkhole and look at this amazing footage thoughts and prayers to those people thoughts and prayers to humanity worldwide we're living on a very busy planet what's not so busy is our sun still the only thing we have to talk about today is plasma filaments and a coronal hole small sunspot region but not much energy but the coronal hole is extending to the equator of our sun and then we have a new coronal hole incoming watching that on the left side there and that one is equatorial that's pretty much all that has effect has been affecting us recently is the coronal holes so you can see a sm couple small sunspot regions trying to form then they just disappear grand solar minimum much overlooking here the real-time solar wind steady at 300 and 50 kilometers per second and you can see it's been dropping off so that's the beginning of the new coronal hole wind stream coming into coming into our planet let's look at the last 48 hours for earthquakes most recent here with a 3.7 in pinnacles california at a 10 kilometer depth you can see quite a few earthquakes have rung off since yesterday also looking here, 3.4 in Kansas. That's right, folks, 3.4. And as well, a 2.9 Old Faithful, Wyoming. Central America, 4.4 and 4.8 in Ecuador. Moving down, 4.2 in Chile. 4.5 Santa Cruz, Chile, and a 4.7 West Chile rise. South Sandwich Islands yesterday, well, close to the South Sandwich Islands, southern mid-Atlantic Ridge, and then any aftershocks in the Philippines from yesterday with the 6.4, and as well today we have a 5.2 in Japan, Four point nine East Timor and four point nine Mariana Islands. And that was yesterday. Or late last night. But that's the last forty eight hours for earthquakes. Still very quiet. Europe, Africa. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. And things are quite quiet compared to 
my regular seven day look backs at all the all the earthquakes but there does seem to be many deep earthquakes today that I'm reporting but the number of earthquakes has definitely quieted down it's overlooking let's overlook tropical storms as we do have area of interest number 96 who is the low pressure center yesterday we were observing was an area of interest and it quickly shot across Mexico and it is now in the Gulf of Mexico now that will be the nor'easter forming for this week also looking at tropical storm tropical depression number 21 who is just east of the Philippines and heading in to the North Philippines and Taiwan still watching this storm develop they're not expecting it to grow any larger I want to thank you all my friends and family from around the world for subscribing and watching I really appreciate and love your support and loyalty to this channel and for my work so kudos to everyone and thank you please share overlooking here total precipital water still watching a lot of equatorial moisture gaining I like to look at these maps every so often just to see the drastic changes. When you watch them every day, you don't really see. But once a week, you can really see a difference. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean right now. Large lows coming down from the north. Being pushed down from the Pineapple Express. Here's that low pressure system we were talking about. Area of interest number 96, which will be a nor'easter later in the week, trying to form. Western Canada, lots of snow in the mountains, rain on the west coast, warmer temperatures in Alberta, nighttime cool down, but those cold temperatures are reaching all the way to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Stay aware and prepared. Old man winter is really on its way. Overlooking Europe, large low pressure systems affecting Western and Northeastern Europe. Snow already becoming a factor. Parts of United Kingdom and Russia. As I pointed out yesterday in the Daily Do, huge snowstorm forming in the northern hemisphere heading to russia overlooking the rest of the world not much else to talk about for extreme weather or major weather events no atlantic storms forming throughout the week south america daily evaporation leave you here with a look at our southern hemisphere versus our northern hemisphere much love to you all and thank you for watching today if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much it's all about the watch time people i try to keep this less than a 15 minute daily do and thank you for watching today stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye, -bye.